He's not at that. He's not in the building, is he? <laughs> not here with us tonight. We are uh, absolutely honored to have Peter here with us. We had him about two years ago, and we're honored then to have him with us. And for some reason, we're he's back. I don't, I'm amazed that we were able to get him back after the uh, first episode, but. Uh, he's gracious enough to join us again. For those of you that know Peter and his music, um, I mean, he's incredibly accomplished. He's done a lot of work in TV and film, as well as children's albums, adult albums, and just an amazing artist. So we are uh, just thrilled and honored to have him. Is he here? Peter Himmelman? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Peter. Peter. Okay, so Doc walks into a bar now. <laughs> it's going to be a bad show if I have to stay up here much longer. <laughs> All right, Peter Himmelman. like the investment group you you sometimes speak or like get the I, I can imagine very beautiful smooth I mean not smooth in a sense like slippery smooth but, you know. it's nice like eloquent wow this is not a good sign what? Um, this, this is sort of locking in turger pressure as they say <laughs> hopefully it's not an omen <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. Uh, it's, these shows, by the way, they start out really painfully slow. It takes me a long time to, to get comfortable. Several years, as a matter of fact, generally. But for you, I'll, I'll try to get it together. Now, yeah, there's some sort of cord I should plug in. Just pretend this is like a house. Now, this... This may make some kind of noise. I mean, a lot of people are jumpy when they hear a, lot, a noise. But when you expect it to make a loud noise, it won't be as frightening. You know, sometimes people jump. <laughs> Me, I don't jump. I've been plugging this stuff in for 30 years, so I understand. This was, uh, I do like water. I like this thing. I like a lot of it. You said we're honored to have him here after last time, like as if what happened, something like. I heard that like, he's on the stairs listening. Yeah, that's good. After <clears throat> last time. No, so tell me the UPS guy didn't deliver those records, right? Did not. It's guaranteed, though. What does that mean? You know, like when they come two weeks late, you don't have to pay. Nah, it's not so good. Someday, not anytime soon, you're going to say, like, Peter Himmelman or whatever, and, they, and I'm going to walk up, and I'm just going to shut up, and I'm going to play. It'll be amazing. I'll just pick up a guitar. <laughs> There's once a guy named, his name Roman Gomez. He actually stole away my first girlfriend, Lori Arthur, when I was, like, 13. And, you know, it was a long story. <laughs> and he once shot himself in the hand. L later, very sh shortly thereafter, shot himself in the hand. He told me how he had morphine. And I was just thinking about him now. Because he used to say, you know, man, you guys got to get up on stage and just play. But he shot himself in the hand. <laughs> I didn't mean to shove that list that you wrote for me. These suggestions, my foot kind of went blah. It's a derisive foot pull. When you need me, I stand beside 
I'm there for you wherever you go. When you're hungry, I satisfy. That's the mission of my soul. Confession, I'm that listen. When you cross the ocean, I gotta hold the road. When you need attention, your audience won't be missing. That's the mission of my soul. When you're sleepy, I'll make your bed now. When you're on shoe, I'm gonna let you know. I said, baby, don't you trouble your head now. That's the mission of my soul. Yeah, yeah. When you're making plans and you need a bar Baby, I'm your man, just tell me when do we go You be my flower, I'll be your God That's the mission of my soul singing in the house